Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, I'm making a video on my tablet. So. <laughs> uh, this is the first time I made it on here. So, <laughs> I'm kind of making a little experiment. <laughs> See how it comes out, but I need more light. I got a light here. But see, you think when you get a light too close to the camera, you know, <laughs> you know it'll go bleh, bleh, like. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this is just a little test. I want to come back in another video. See, it's blinking. That's a problem. What if you put it? Let's do this. Well, now that there's light behind me. Ah, right, we'll see how it comes out. Well. Got some nice Celtic music going here. It's good music. Yeah, good Celtic music. I posted that. Two hours. It's called Two Hours of Celtic Music by Adrian Von Zegler. It's pretty good. I got Irish root. I'm Gentile, so of course I got Irish roots. I'm black Irish. I came from Spain. I already, I already told you that. Because I did videos on Gentile history. I believe we were in England. We got chased out of England. And then we went to France, got chased out of France, went to Spain, got chased out of Spain, went to Ireland, got chased out of Ireland, went to Scotland, got chased out of Scotland, then we went, we split up. Of course, we stayed in Sumeria, Egypt, we stayed over there, Judah, established Palestinian, uh, I know the Gentile history pretty good. Matter of fact, I know where my graves are. <laughs> I know where my graves are. My own graves. Isn't that crazy? That's true. Okay, so. It's just a short little video to see if I can upload it. It works. I don't know. I didn't make any videos on here yet. <clears throat> but, uh. Is there any way to stop this madness of the, these people? You, I don't know. I call you a Google stalker. I mean, I try to make up funny terms for people. You know. <laughs> Just like you do. <laughs> But is there any way to stop the madness? I, mean, I believe that there's actual people that are stalking me, and then I believe there's like a computer algorithm at work too. So you got what's hot on Google and trending on Google. Or trending? What's trending on Google? Something like that. And All those are scorch posts, scorchers, and then you got like really people sprinkled in there, and then you got more computer people. So some, like the majority of the people don't even exist, it's just a computer generated identity. That's, that's all it is, it's an algorithm, you know. Somebody sat down and they created an algorithm to stalk me, trying to drive me bananas. That's what I believe. So, is there any way to stop the madness? What do you guys, I mean, like, what do you, I, I'm trying to figure out what is your goal, like? Is your goal to just try to, like, bother me 
I came up with one idea that your goal is to try to get me to delete my Google Plus profile, my Google Plus page, and all the work I did, and my YouTube page. Uh, that might be one of your goals, you know. If we could piss him off enough, he'll delete it. You know? And then all the work he did will go down the drain. But I'm asking him, like, what do you guys want from me? Because I can't really read code that good. You know? I can read it, but it takes me a little while. So I, I just operate by psychic impression mostly. I read some of it, but why would you want to read some if you know it's a scorch? You know what I mean? <laughs> So that's why I really don't read it. I rely on my psychic ability. Because <clears throat> why would you want to read a Scorch? You wouldn't. So I don't. But I read a little bit. Plus you see the pictures. And you just, you know, you know it's Scorch. So. Uh, if anybody could like talk to me like regular you know, dumb dumb language or whatever you call it. I don't know what you call it, nerd language. Because I know you refer to people that are not hip as nerds. So, can you speak to me in like nerd language, like regular language, and tell me like, what do you want from me, or like, what do you want? What are you expecting me to do, or what do you, what do you? Well. I guess you don't gotta tell me what you're trying to accomplish. You could, you know, you probably don't want to. <clears throat> but I don't really like, you know, carrying anim animosity around. It's not a spirit. It's not a spiritually smart thing to do, you know, to be angry. See, I'm supposed to be preparing for my final death. That means to be totally emotionless. You know, you're not supposed to be angry. You're not supposed to be sad. You're not supposed to be nothing. You're just supposed to be. That's it. That's how you're supposed to go. That's how you're supposed to uh, be, pre you know, get prepared for final death. You know? I'm already dead because you already blew my brains out. So I'm already dead. But I was already dead when you blew my brains out. I was already, I already died before that. So that means that I'm in a program that just keeps going round and round. Like if I killed myself right now, I would just wake up again being the same nightmare basically I'm trapped in my own mind it's a program I'm trapped yeah. <clears throat> now Muslim people venerate the cube because that's me in there it's supposed to symbolize me stuck in there you know, so I'm Joseph and then I'm also the Muhammad character and probably plenty of other characters just like in the Bible I represent a lot of characters in here too I'm the Lord of Hosts. I'd be like Haggai and I'd be all these people. And then before that, you go back, you know, I would have been Paul. I'm the Jesus person. All these people, that's me. You know. But I don't stand by I don't I don't stand by Jesus Christ because it's a mixed message, you know. Jesus is a translation of Zeus, you know, Spanish, hey Zeus, you know. So Jesus is Zeus, and then, or Joshua, or all the other names that change in a lot of way. So that's me, you know. And Christ is not a name, it's a description. So you got a translation of a name and a description. A Christ is someone who dies to the world in a carnal desire and becomes worthy of and achieves ascension. That's Christ. So it's a mixed message, so I don't stand by confusion. So that's why I don't go around saying I do Christ. But it's confusion. And I don't represent confusion. I represent truth, wisdom, and confirmation. You know? So that's it. But I like I basically I just want to ask you to the stalker people. Um, you're interfering with the mass salvation, okay? You interfere with virgin birth, okay? So those are the two highest transgressions that anybody can ever can commit. You're continuing in these efforts, right? So basically, you're just digging your grave deeper and deeper. <clears throat> but still. So.
you know, I always, I always hoped that you would come to me and say, bottom line, you know, they took, the people that are forcing us to do this, or promoting us to stalk you, whatever, told it, didn't tell us that you were the Lord, they didn't tell us you were saying, they didn't tell you were Jesus person, whatever. They told us that you were somebody else. You know, so that's why we did it, you know. So I was hoping that you would come to me and tell me that, and then I would say, yeah, that's what I figured. You know. It's, okay, there's no, there's no, um, there's no quarter containing commitment. I mean, for anybody, anybody, I don't care who you are, me, even me. So there's no quarter containing commitment. Just because the army surrenders doesn't mean they're not going to be slaughtered, okay? So, okay, just because the army surrenders doesn't mean they're not going to be slaughtered. But it's always better to be punished than to be forsaken. All right? So, you know, if you came to me and said, blah, 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 they told us you were someone else. They didn't tell us who you were. <clears throat> they didn't tell us who you were, blah, blah, blah. You know, so, that's why we did it and whatever. But is there any way to stop this madness? I mean, Is this madness going? This madness going to continue until then? Or oh. oh. I can't get rid of you because you're working with Google, or you're in the computer. You're in. You hacked into the central hub of Google. So, there's really no way for me to get rid of you. I, I have no, like I said, I block, I have no followers, and I'm not following anybody. But yeah, it says there's 18 followers there, but I can't find them. So that means you, you, there's 18 people that have hacked into the central hub of Google. That's what I believe. So that's you. You hacked into the central hub of Google, which you did. So now, I, there's no way for me to get rid of it. I can block, I, can, I sat here one night, I blocked people for like fucking six hours straight and just kept coming and coming and coming. So there's no way I could, I blocked almost 4,000 people. Okay, 4,000 people I blocked. 4,000 people of the Air Force of Salvation. No version book. 4,000 people. But like I said, they're not really people. They're not all people. Some people, and then just, the other just imaginary made up algorithm computer people that really don't exist. You know. So that's where I'm at, you know. I mean, if you want salvation and you want to try to turn over a new leaf or change the ways, you know, then do it. You know, provide me with some sort of show of redemption, you know, on your part, you know. And then, um, then we can get together. I can try to provide your salvation. <clears throat> Instead of sitting here and saying, I'm gonna kill you, blah, blah, blah. And that's no good for me, man. No good for nobody. You're making me, I'm, I'm making myself to appear as some kind of monster. I'm not. I'm not. But you you're provoking me you know, to get angry. What are you doing? All right? So I'm asking if you could stop, you know. If there's some way we can work something out, will you stop stalking me? You know, because it's not pleasant. It's not a pleasant experience, you know. And 
I believe I worked hard. I'm still working hard to tr try to reveal truth to people. And you know, everybody's against a global world order, but the whole the whole thing is to facilitate uh, me being able to provide salvation to the whole world. That's to organize everybody so I can provide salvation. Okay. The people that join the global order are people that found humility and the wisdom and the people who want salvation. That's the that's the world order, that's what it is. Alright. But people don't know that because you got all these alternate media people villainizing the world order. But it's really just for me. It's it's so I can provide salvation in an orderly fashion. It's drawing a line in the sand, you know, saying, well, basically, you're with us, or you're with us, or you're against us, you know. You want salvation? You want safe exile? Then we got to come together and get prepared, you know. If not, then you're on your own. You're on your own. You know what I'm saying? And you're making the police look bad too because I'm sure everybody knows by now that you work together, so. You're making the police look bad, man. You, know, you really, really are. You know, and you, by your actions there, by interfering with the mess salvation and um, bird and bird, you're uh, condemning the police because they're your allies, so you condemn them, you know, then you, and you condemn all the people that work at the prisons because they're your allies too. So you're condemning all these people by your actions, you know. Look, I'm a reasonable person, man. I'm not someone that likes to hold a grudge, because you know? that's not spiritual. That's not a positive thing to do, you know, as far as spiritually. While I'm here, you know, trying to show some humility and ask you, please stop, man. I mean, what can we work out? You know, what are you, what are you looking for from me? You know, acceptance? I'm willing to accept you, but you need me halfway, that's all. You need me halfway. I know it's black and white, so you represent black. I understand that. That's why you say you don't like white people. It's not white people because their skin's white. It's white people because they're they're in the white square and you're in the black square. That's all it is. It's it's positive polarity and negative polarity. So you represent negative polarity. That's what you represent. And in representing negative polarity, you become spiritually inept and spiritually bankrupt. And you get, you're like a banquet for the pure sites. They're feeding on you. So what happens is you become more and more negative and more and more negative, more and more negative. Because that's what you represent, negativity. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person necessarily or whatever. You know, and then of course, what you do, you know, the business that you engage in, uh, it's not very positive business. I don't know what else I can say here. But I can't beat you. There's no way I can win because you're working, you hacked into the central hub of Google, so how the fuck can I beat you? It's impossible. I couldn't beat you. Can't beat you. The only way I can beat you is if God helps me. Saturn, quantum generator. And at this point, she's not helping me. She's helping me with my ascension, but she's not helping me with Google. And she's not helping me with you because uh, you represent negative polarity. So she has to leave an element of you there. It's like, okay, you represent negative polarity, okay? So there has to be a representation of negative polarity. Yeah. Okay, let's say I represent white. Okay, you represent black. 
So there can be no way without black. There can be no light without dark. So there still has to be an element of you represented, but it doesn't mean you have to be malicious. <clears throat> Don't have to be malicious. You know. It's about working together, you know. We're supposed to be working together. You represent black and I represent white. And fine. That's the way it is. But what why why there's no reason to be malicious against each other, you know. Like I said, you can have a, 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 a line of white people walking down one side of the street going white power, white power. And you can have a line of black people on the other side going black power, black power. And we can still coalesce. Just because you you, you stand up for your race, what is that? Why do you have to hate the other race? You don't have to. The only reason people do it is because they're programmed to. That's it. Okay, I, I have not, I'm, I'm, I'm a Nazi, okay? I'm a Nazi. Okay, I was Hitler, so I represent the Nazi party. Socialist, Socialist Party. And we, we, uh, I also represent the Muslims because I'm Allah, or Muhammad Kirk, or whatever. I, I'm the word of Allah, okay? Not Allah, but I represent Allah. Just like I represent Lucifer. And Vishnu is my higher self, so I represent Vishnu, too. I represent all the gods and all the allies and all the uh, observer races, just like I represent all the people of Earth. So there's no reason we shouldn't be able to cohabitate, coalesce. It's about working together. We're trying to bring the world together. So we we have to do our part. The white and the black have to do their part. You know, you know, right? you know a cookie? It's half white and half black cookie. Why? It's, it's a lesson to say that you can coalesce and we can be the same cookie, okay? You're promoting this animosity, man, not me. You are. I'm not stalking you. You're stalking me. I'm not stalking you. I don't even, I don't even comment on your videos. I just block them and hide them. And that's it. Every once in a while, I might, but I don't got time for that. My time is worth like $20 billion a second, okay? My, I'm the highest authority. My time's more valuable than anybody in existence. And I work for free because nobody can figure out how to give me any money because I'm trapped in the box. <clears throat> so, you know, this is my plea to you. You know, please, can we try to coalesce and stop this madness? I mean, it's just, I don't see how it's good for you either. Well, maybe you're probably enjoying it, but. You're not going to enjoy it because you're going to be forsaken in the end. Unless you meet me halfway, you know, you're going to be forsaken. It's like, okay, you got a block, okay? So it's run by a certain gang or family well, okay? They control the drugs, they control everything there, okay? Then the police know that. So the, the police obviously want to put as many people in jail as they can because that's their job security. So that's their job, just whatever. So uh, they, they can't totally take that element out of the neighborhood. They can only arrest some, a few drug dealers here and there, but they can't go and arrest the whole family and the whole gang because then the block will turn into a war zone because then everyone will be vying for the territory. But they know that. So that's the same thing you are, you know. You can't, you have, there has to be a representation of negative polarity, which is what you represent. So you can't be totally taken out of the picture. It has to be some representation, but it doesn't mean it has to be a malicious representation. And that's what you're doing. You're representing ne uh, negative polarity in a malicious way. You know, you're desecrating me. You're you're desecrating Hillary Clinton. You're desecrating uh, the administration. You know, you're desecrating a lot of stuff. You're interfering with salvation. You're interfering with virgin birth. You know, and that's the bottom line. So I figured I'd explain this to some of you might not be aware of all this stuff. I'm sure some of you, probably most of you are, but 
some of you are, I don't believe you just do what you're told, and that's it. Alright, so I'm gonna let you go. I hope that you watch this video and think about what I said. Well, don't think because you think you're living in a room without, but take into account what I said. Alright, see you later.